Hi, brothers and sisters and friends and families. I like to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Uh, this video is um, about the effects of stem cells on my father's Parkinson's disease. Okay. Now, uh, before I get into the real uh, content of this video, I like to take a moment to just highlight to you because if you watch this video and the following video, you probably have questions like, will stem cells work on this illness? Will stem cells work on this condition? Now, uh, there will be a link below this video where you see stem cell therapy uh, uh, or understanding stem cell therapy. You might want to watch that video so that you can get a better understanding of what uh, the current stem cell therapy is all about. What are the options and choices? What are the um, issues and what are the questions that should be answered before you embark or take on a stem cell therapy? Okay. Now there is a series of videos on this um, uh, uh, on this topic. This first one here is on the stem cells on my father's Parkinson. Okay. The next one. Um, uh, which is the uh, traumatic, the more traumatic, the more uh, eventful kind of um, video, uh, which is the stem cells, uh, the effects of stem cells on my father's Alzheimer's disease. Okay, so um, uh, there is a product involved, and and there will be a separate video that explains what that product is. Okay, now um, uh, let's get back into this video. Now, my father um, this year is uh, 81 years old and he has had Parkinson's for a long time. Uh, according to my mother, uh, he, his hands started shaking when we were very young. Uh, I estimated because uh, no one tracked or recorded the event. It's probably around when my father was uh, early 40s or late 30s. So um, when I was in primary school at that time, now, <clears throat> so he has a history of about thirty to forty years. But his Parkinson's is not extremely severe. Okay, however, for the last few years, for the past few years, <clears throat> uh, when we have a chance to uh, stay longer together, when my son was born, I observed that his Parkinson's is shaking, is getting more severe. You know, when you hold a cup of uh, coffee, you will, will shake. You cannot hold it steady, and or using a chopstick to pick up, you know, um, or whatever veggie or meat, you will shake, or a spoon to drink the soup. Uh, his condition is not extremely severe, and and he's not on any medication for this particular condition. Um, uh, uh, I have seen cases where uh, they are extremely severe. I have a friend who is uh, in the 60s, in the 60s. He he's not on medication as well, but I know it's getting uh, uh, worse and worse. And uh, he can hold hold a cup of coffee and his hair will shake and then the, the hand shaking also. You know, um, that is slightly more severe and then I came to know another patient that was 2 3 years ago at that time I didn't know about this product. He's, he was 60, I think around 60 then, you know, there were two, three to four years back. He had Parkinson's disease since he was 30, in his 30s, and he lost his job because of this Parkinson's disease. He has been on medication for years, and by the way, Parkinson's disease, there is no known cure, it's classified as incurable currently in the medical, um, in the medical field. So they can only use medication to control. And now this particular patient uh, that I was talking, uh, was referring to, <clears throat> if he's not on medication, he virtually cannot do anything, okay? His shaking was, uh, 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 was very severe. Uh, we call it tremor, huh? tremor, shaking, basically shaking. And, uh, and uh, he, 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 his mobility is affected. Okay, if you ask him to move from uh, this side to to there, 
if he's not on medication, he he know what you're talking about, you know. But his body is frozen. He wants to get there, but his leg will not move. Okay, so he cannot control it. Um, it's the message doesn't go from the brain to uh, the uh, to the muscle in the leg. So actually, this this disease is about uh, there is particular nerve cells in the brain that is uh, damaged. Uh, that that nerve cells is called uh, dopamine producing neurons. Okay, this is a bit technical. Basically, the nerve cells cannot produce a dopamine, which is used to control our so-called motor skill or coordination. Okay, we coordinate. You know, uh, pick it up here, come here. You know, this are coordination. These are the motor skills. So, Parkinson's disease patients have this particular neurons or nerve cells damaged, and uh, uh, there are various theories why it become like that. Maybe drugs, maybe toxins, maybe poisons. The food we eat, or the water we eat, or too much medicine, they cost it. Okay, so uh, this is this is the, the the situation, the status of the uh, of the um, disease. Now, my father had that for about thirty, at least thirty to forty years. Okay, now uh, he started taking this particular stem cell product. Okay, this particular stem cell product. On the fifth of October, okay. Uh, today is the twentieth of uh, November. Actually, the fifth of October is triggered by the Alzheimer's. Okay? When I bought the stem cells for him, it's not for the, um, it's not for Parkinson. It's not for Alzheimer. It's actually for another, another illness which I'll touch on in the next video. But anyway, uh, somehow we saw an amazing effect of these stem cells uh, on his Parkinson. Now he started taking it on October 5th up to now they're probably about six seven weeks something like that about that today is the 20th so it's about six weeks okay one and a half months now when did we realize that his Parkinson's is shaking or his tremors was gone it was around I believe it was around the fifth I'm looking at the calendar right now around the fifth and or fourth fifth or sixth of November yeah, because since the incidents happen, I mean the Alzheimer. I've been calling home uh, every day, uh, talking to my mom. I have talked, spoken to my father also. He's able to, um, he's able to communicate very well now. I think a fourth, fifth, or sixth. I asked my mother, is is father's shaking uh, still very bad? And then my mother said, hey, the shaking is gone. He doesn't seem to shake anymore. So I got back the next day. I think my mother was observing the whole day, and and she said no. And then she also asked my father, any more shaking? My father also said there's no more shaking. Then I believe it was yesterday it was nineteenth that I called back and I double check again. You know, on this particular condition, mother said gone, no more, no more, it's gone. You know, it's just no shaking gone. You know, when when even my father was not considered to be severe when he. He used to uh, uh, tell me when he carry heavy thing, or you would cut the grass, you know, use the cut grass. Uh, uh, over over use of of strength or or, or energy, you know, um, his hand would shake, and he can't stop, you know, he, he can't control it. So that was that was basically uh, what he was having in terms of his Parkinson's disease. So what amazed me is. He has that for 30 40 years, okay, and he consumed the stem cells for about um, five weeks, okay, five weeks. And we basically witnessed the uh, tremor, uh, it's gone, it's no more. Now, I, I cannot confirm to you whether Parkinson's is gone or not, but definitely for the past two weeks, the tremor is no longer there, okay, so that that actually. It's quite amazing to me, and thank God for that. Okay, so uh, for those of you who might have friends and families, or you know whoever that might have this illness, uh, you can talk to them, and then they'll tell you that you know if they're severe, they have to use medication and control. Otherwise, they cannot be functional. Uh, their life quality is basically uh, very bad. Just as I mentioned, the patients, if he don't take the medication 
he can't even take things to eat he's basically motionless just sit there or lie down and they get mood swing and even he's on medication he has been adjusting medications for jumping from one drugs to another drugs and then even each drug they have to adjust the dosage the amount to make it you know to control it you know make sure it's not too heavy not too light so that is just right you know there's yeah, a lot of uh, complications with those uh, but definitely the, those drugs are not uh, cure or healing uh, the Parkinson's disease so if you are interested in this aspect and you would like to get hold of me and you can call me or for those of you who know my parents you can pay them a visit but make sure you call my mother first now for those of you who don't have my number you can get it from my friends i don't want to put the number here because i have done similar things before and i get all kinds of hanky panky calls uh coming in not asking about what i was talking about in the video but rather even things that are not so nice <laughs> they start calling whether i want those services and you know that kind of thing so but you can email me uh, the email is on the screen here uh, at jonas at feasiblemarketing.com and i can give you more details on whether this product or um, similar issues um, following those videos okay once again i thank you for taking the time to watch this video and i urge you to watch the next video at least the next video and as well as the stem cell therapy video so that you get a more complete understanding of what i'm trying to talk about here and hopefully the information in these videos will be able to benefit you some way or another or your families and friends thank you we will talk soon bye bye